Hello, my soccer universe, and welcome to the last part of this Champions League jersey review, part 8. Let's finish it. In this group, which is a very interesting group, I have, 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 to, have to say, I think there are only either big names in there or names from big leagues. So I, th I think it's a very even and very interesting group. And three out of the four teams in there I have jerseys from, but the choice was easy. Ajax was my bright light the past season, so of course I'm gonna wear Ajax. Yes, I could pull out a nice Valencia shirt, I could pull out a really nice Chelsea shirt, but no, Ajax. Seems to be about right for me, and as I said, except for the first video where I did it because I um, wanted to demonstrate something, I always try to not wear the jersey of the CD team because that one I want to put in the thumbnail. So, hope that's fine with you. Let's get started, and we'll start, since I do it alphabetically, we start right away with Ajax with their new home jersey, which is the classic design, but it adds a twist in just adding a teeny bit of black in there. And I have to say, this teeny bit of black, while I don't mind it, uh, especially on the sleeve cuffs, um, I do mind it on the collar, because the collar has two different widths. That looks weird to me. Uh, the XXX is of course from the Amsterdam flag, and I think we also have this here on the sleeve cuffs. But you know, you cannot fault anyone for making an Ajax jersey that looks like an Ajax jersey. Maybe the three stripes here on the side. Hmm, maybe we could have done something there because I think it's a cleaner look if the straps are here on top or you know why for Lyon you blank them out for many teams you blank them out for Ajax you don't so That's maybe where I'm Losing a perfect rating, but I think is it still strong enough to say this is an eight star jersey the away jersey, though, I mean, by itself, it doesn't look bad. But when you saw Ajax in, at PSV and then with orange pants, this is a horrible color com com combination. Um, the green is something that I remember Ajax, especially after they won the Champions League. They had such a green jersey, which actually looked quite spiffy. Not a classic Ajax color. Uh, so maybe the green, I'm, I'm right, but pairing it with orange, yes, I know, national color and so on but is already a little bit on the altar. And then you do the Ajax crest with a black background. And then you add these weird stripes, panels. I'm struggling here. I'm struggling here. By seen by itself, I mean, the entire kit, if it's worn like it was at PSV, it's an abomination. Um, seeing the jersey by itself, I can see some merit to it, but I don't see much connection with Ajax itself. I know there are people who like it. I'm not one of those, I'm sorry to say, and I don't get this vertically diagonal thing that's going on there, pinstriping and not. Uh, it's just all a little, little bit too much. Three stars. Sorry. Also, a little bit too much is what I used for the current Chelsea home shirt. If you see it in game, nothing that bad looking. It looks like Chelsea, but again, the closer you get, you see all these weird structures on there, which are again inspired by the shades that are thrown by Stamford Bridge Stadium. I mean, yeah, maybe. Maybe, but it's all a little bit, you know, it looks more like kaleidoscopic or whatever. It's just thrown on their uh, jambled two or two together and then we put an interpretation on top of it. Shouldn't say this because, I mean, this jersey does something similar with the cityscape of Amsterdam. <laughs> but, you know, that's a whole diff 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 different story. Here, at least I can um, rec recognize what's happening at times. Here, I cannot. Uh, this is... N I still don't like it. I like last year's. That was interesting. This one is just too much. It tries to do something cool, but entirely fails with it. And for that reason, I stick with the four stars that I gave it in my Premier League jersey review. I will also stick with the rating for the uh, weight jersey, which I find wonderful. Let me repeat this. I find this wonderful. Um, I like the color. I like, you know, the overall uh, style of the jersey is already great, and I just have him in plain white. 
Um, I like that you use blue and red, which is reflecting the sponsor. So that connects nicely together. Uh, maybe the red is a tad too much. Uh, I think it should be used a little bit more as an accent color than it is here. It's almost here an equal accent color to the blue. Uh, the only th so so that is one slight downside for this one. The other thing is that the Chelsea crest I would have purged it of all the yellow because that makes now the Chelsea crest a little bit of a foreign object on there. But other than that, this is super nice jersey. Look at the inside color. They just have the lion in there. Maybe this would have just fit on this jersey. Just have the lion standing there, uh, lion rampant. That probably would have even looked better. But still, it's a really, really, really nice jersey. Um, I have to say, but it doesn't crack the very, very top of that. It's too plain or maybe has just some too, a few oddities in there. So I'm going here also with eight stars. And then the third jersey tries to do many things. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the Inter third jersey uh, that others have also compared it to. First of all, what sticks out is the color, which is a throwback to the mid 90s Nike color. Um, then we have a black and then we have again a red in there. To me, the only thing that connects it to Chelsea is the monochromatic crest and the white, which is barely on there. Other than that, it's just trying to do something uh, different that I don't think connects well with the club's image. There's a really nice shadow pattern in there uh, with some lion and so on, so that gives it some extra special thing to look at, all those third jerseys do. It has a certain retro aesthetic to it, but I, to me it's not a Chelsea shirt. Similar like the Inter shirt was not an Inter shirt. Uh, that's my main gripe with that one and for that reason, five stars. I cannot... Uh, no. There's just something missing here. Uh, this to me is not a, it's not a Chelsea shirt. I know Chelsea has thrown many third shirts that have nothing to do. So that fits in that mold, especially under Adidas. But I never liked those. I, you know, if it was yellow, that I would understand more than the black jersey. A black jersey or this gray and orange. But still, that was also an ugly, ugly, ugly Chelsea jersey. Said, oh, but you know, there's at least this what the hell it's time. This is, tries to do something completely new in a retro look. It doesn't work to me. Uh, I think that one in a yellow one. I think, and then uh, you see a little bit blue. I think that I would like a whole lot better. Now, a team that we haven't uh, looked at is Lil, and boy do they get an interesting home jersey. That's right up there with Leipzig. Uh, maybe the sponsor is a little bit too intrusive. Uh, but you know, remember Leipzig having a navy shirt where then a little bit red was coming up here with a red shirt where it goes over into navy. Um, it's not a traditional look, but given what uh, they had last year, I think I like this one a whole lot better. Uh, not 100% crazy about it, but it is a striking um, design. Also, it uh, it's smooths over right around the crest, and so, so um, it almost distracts from the crest, but also from the written part on the sponsor, which I think is a plus. It is something different, and I wanna. And I actually do like it somehow. And again, do please let me know what's the animal in the crest. Is, should this be a dog? Should this be a dragon? I'm never quite sure about that. But I think this is a quite in, in interesting jersey. Um, the pattering, yeah. There is something I like about it. It's a fade, you know, it uses the club's colors, also a little bit France colors, but um, it's playful with it, uh, draws you up there. Maybe because the crest is vanishing, um, maybe all the sponsors are tad too large, maybe it doesn't continue to sleep, so those are a few things. Seven? Let's take it seven stars. I think I like that they're doing something adventurous. Here, uh, the Awakened is not adventurous at all. That's actually downright boring. And I, I remember when I saw them against Ajax in that. I mean, there is none of the club's colors in here. At least give me some blue. Don't make it black. Make it blue. Do some stuff like that. Yeah, looks like Ike. Four stars. It's nothing much to talk about. 
the best one I think is this one, the third jersey. I really like it's the white and then you have a pentagon radiating out from, from the crest. That one is a cool look. And it also uses the right colors. I really, really like this one. It does something different. The only thing is why does it stop at the shoulders? Let it go over, do the whole front with it. And, and while you're at it at the back, I see it also stops here on the sides. Uh, that's maybe the only downside. But other than that, there's a really nice thing because it puts the focus Unlike the hundred, straight on the crest, uh, and that's and then uses just some red accents on the white part. Uh, this is this is really smart, really interesting, and different as well. Um, I actually want to go eight stars with them. This this is definitely better than uh, the home jersey. And then lastly, Valencia. The home jersey, yes, we talk about in the La Liga jersey review, this is a so-and-so home jersey, I have to say. I mean, it's Valencia, you have the white uh, on there. You have also the, or the, the orange color is the one thing that puts me off with that. Uh, it fits with the crest, but I think it would look better if it was also black color, because I'm so used to having Valencia in white with black accents. If they use some other color, uh, colors on the home jersey, it distracts, uh, especially distracts from the crest, which is quite colorful, and that's what I always like about Valencia home jersey, that you have this plain jersey and you have this colorful crest on there. For that reason, uh, the color makes it more average. I'm also not sure about the shoulder stripes especially the way puma does does it uh this time around not so crazy about it for that only six stars for that one uh there's not much given for me and when i said the inter jersey is the most ugly jersey it's because it breaks with the tradition so much but this one is a so close competitor this is an absolute abomination of a jersey if it was just black and then had the orange crest, I would maybe uh, be forgiving. But what's this orangey, wavy thingy? Uh, straight out of a Pink Floyd uh, video or whatever. I mean, uh, uh, psychedelic as it as, as it could be, but in an ugly color combination. For me, black and orange, these those are two colors that work very rarely, especially if orange gives given such a prominent role. No, absolute no. What were you thinking? And I don't even say, I mean, this is right up there with the Inter Home, Home Hunter. The Inter Home Church, it just makes a weird uh, overall pattern on the front. This is just downright ugly. One star. And the best of the bunch is the third jersey, Blue. Uh, this is what I want to see as an away jersey for Valencia. So, yeah, this is a little bit there. A little bit there. Again, crazy patterning, but I think this is kind of using this Puma pattern that we saw in Egypt a little bit, but you know, then completely destroys it. Uh, at least the colors are pleasant to look at. Even the sponsor does somewhat fit in, you know, it adds a little bit accent and the Valencia crest can again pop. Uh, there is something nice and pleasing about this, despite all the patterning on there. Um, and compared to the other two, the one is too boring, the other one is way too wild and doesn't know what it wants. This one at least, yes, it is a contrast to both of these and for that reason I like it and I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna stick with the seven stars, but I think uh, I'm also thinking a little bit further down, but I, it's, it's better than the home jersey, I have to say that. I think Ajax wins this group, don't you agree? Anyway. That was it, we are through with all the Champions League jersey review for this year. Looking forward to next year already. Uh, let me know what you thought about the jerseys in this video. Drop a comment below um, and let me know whether you disagree or you agree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.